I want you to take out a piece of paper and you carry out the Ford Fulkerson labeling algorithm on that network. Feel free to uh, talk to your neighbors as you do this. But I want you to carry out the Ford Fulkerson labeling algorithm on this network. There was a question over here, and I never did answer it. Oh, um, did it? I, I answered it. I was asking uh, why don't we have a label from the When you're carrying out the Dijkstra, you do not scan from label vertices to vertices that you've already labeled. Because you're, you're burying an instance of Dijkstra, and you want the augmenting path that has the shortest one. So if you're scanning this one later, the path that you have to this one uses the fewest number of edges. And so uh, you, you, what you'd be doing is finding an augmenting path that one would have more edges. And that's the danger point. So you only look for edges linking label vertices and unlabeled vertices. Forwards or backwards, that's OK. It's the, you're finding augmenting paths that use the minimum number of edges without regard to direction and without regard to capacities. So you might, some people might think, well, shouldn't I find an augmenting path so that if I make the changes on that one, it's as large as possible? Shouldn't I be greedy in the differential? Nobody knows how to do that. You're solving Dijkstra in, in totality for a network, a graph, which keeps changing because the, the one that you're solving it in, it depends on it whether edges are full or empty. And that keeps changing. That, that's why you, you run the Dijkstra each time, but it's on a different, different thing. That's why, I mean, even this simple example, you, you find an augmenting path one time, the, the flow changes, and then there isn't one. In general, what will happen is you run it and you get an augmenting path, say, of 15 edges. The next time you get one of 17 edges, then 19 edges, then 20 edges, then 20 edges again, 20 edges again, 20 edges again, and then 21. You never get shorter ones. They keep getting longer and longer and longer. And then eventually they become infinite because there isn't one. 